There are three players to pick out in the area. It's a good try. It's there! It's the opening goal! He took that goal superbly. What's the crack lads? We're back with another video. We are taking a look at the brand new event. You just saw a goal scored by Menanda, a classic OG player, back in eFootball 2024 now with a catch we're going to get into it and talk about what it could mean potentially for the future of master league which is a mode a lot of you guys want are we getting a bit too overexcited or is there anything in this at all let's find out all right lads so this brand new event is called time attack and essentially it's very easy all you have to do is go in to beat the clock here score a goal and that's it that's all you have to do you have to score a goal within a minute to get a gold medal Two minutes to get a silver medal and five minutes to get a bronze medal. It's very, very simple. But that's not what we're going to focus on in this, right? This is very, very simple to do. I'll just show you a quick kind of preview of it. If you haven't played this yet, this is basically what it is. You just tip off. It's got low difficulty. The last challenge is going to be on Superstar. And then you go into a ranking style event where it's the quickest time gets the highest on the ranking board or the leaderboard. So once you've that complete, you get a new animation celebration. You get your record. You get everything like that and then you're, you're hot to trot, right? So this is not actually what we're focusing on too much. It's actually this. Now, listen, I'm getting a bit overexcited probably with this. You know, I, I just feel like that there's a couple of pros and cons to this. The first part is, I'm going to say, if you guys have never heard of Master League in eFootball, there's a lot of new fans. There's a lot of new people that are just playing the eFootball franchise. Obviously, the DNA of Pez and its offline career mode was Master League in which you would start with a team of default players or fictional players that you're seeing here. This is the original Pez United squad way back when. A lot of these players are now featured in eFootball 2024 with the brand new event. We already were introduced to Castolo. He's the guy you take the penalties with for the free daily spin. That Castolo now is in this new time event as well as the rest of the squad. So the picture on the right here is the original Castolo and his appearance. The picture on the left of your screen is obviously eFootball 2024. Slight graphical improvement over the last 15 years. But this squad that you're seeing here, you've got Castolo at CF, you've got Hemiles, you've got Espimas, you've got Veleni, you've got Ivorov, you've got a couple of guys in here. You can't see the bench, obviously, unless the players bring on, uh, or the opponent is, or the AI brings on, and a player, but you've got these players here that are going to be a side-by-side. -side. So this guy is the goalkeeper, Ivorov, uh, as far as I know, he's a Russian goalkeeper, as far as I know. Um, and then you also have this original squad pick here that we had here. Shout out to Shales, of course, for the clips from way back when we had these in an old hard drive. And there you can see the squad that's kind of really similar to the current squad. There's Castolo in-game as well. There's a couple of alterations to these and brought up into future uh, or into kind of like make them with current kind of models and stuff, right? There you have Valeni there as well. There's another player. Some of the players um, that you have are going to be very different. There is the original Valeni there. He kind of looks uh, a bit kind of shocked there. But for Master League itself, this is essentially what Master League was. This is one of my favorite Master Leagues, PES 2013. Take control of matters both on and off the pitch to turn your club into a world superpower. So that is essentially what you did. Uh, in this, it was a career mode, similar to FIFA's career mode, you take a team on, there's no online aspect of it, this was basically the career mode, where you build a squad from the ground up, you could decide to start with the real team, or a fake team, if you started with the fake team, you had Castolo and all the boys, you create your manager, there was different iterations of it, but essentially this is what it was, I'm just showing you this PES 13, because it was my favourite one, you could design your manager, you could do different things, you could add hairstyles, and then you take on the world with buying and selling players, it was totally offline, I thought PES 2013's Master League was phenomenal at the time, it got a lot of hate for a couple of features in it, but it was super super fun to go back and play it even now, I did a series on this, this is where these clips are from, but when you did sign, you could also then get your players. This was what it was. I don't need to show all of this, but it's just to give you a flavor of it. Um, that when you actually got into the squad, you know, you played your matches, you signed new players, you trained up your cards, you had a secretary. There was a lot of stuff in it. Now, the last big major update we got for Master League was in PES 2020. I'm going to show you that in a, in a second again. Um, but this is just PES 2013 here that when you win a match or whatever, uh, you would just follow on with a, a traditional fixture list of a league that you pick. So if you pick the Premier League, um, you could go in and play the Premier League and you could play a full season. You have the January and summer transfer windows where you could buy or sell players and also you're earning money along the way. And this is what it looked like the screen. I'm just showing you the screens here with a proper table system and all that. But where does this come into it? 
with the actual current eFootball 2024 because are we adding one and one and getting 500? I don't know. This is another player model here of Espimas. He looks pretty identical, man. It looks like they've really just built the face back up and uh, changed a couple of bits and pieces. Again, a bit of a David Silva vibe going on here with Jamiles. This guy was a beast of a winger as well. Uh, I think he was like one of the oldest players in the game. So it's going to be interesting to see his actual stats if he does come. But Menanda was one of the favourite players as well. A uh, bit of a Michael Ballack going on here, I would say. But Les, what do you think, man? Honestly, I, I don't know what to make of this. Would they have really met all these players just to kind of have them for this event? There's Menanda in-game again. I don't know, man. I don't know. I mean, that wouldn't shock me. But I would be surprised if they were going to waste these assets and not have them back when Master League does drop. And then therein lies the question, when is Master League going to be coming? Why haven't we got a roadmap yet to say, listen, it's going to launch with eFootball 2025. Um, I think Castolo has been given the most love. Obviously, a lot of people, you know, reminisce about Pez in the golden days with Castolo and Menanda. Now, as I said with Pez 2020, the last update we got was with that, a whole new Master League. Huge changes are coming to fan favorite mode Master League in response to community feedback. Year two of the three-year plan brings the biggest changes yet with addition of cutscenes, dialogue system that impacts your experience and more realistic transfer system thanks to the inclusion of real-world data as well as legendary managers. But what do you honestly think, lads? Honestly, what do you think? Give me your thoughts in the comments below. Is this a much ado about nothing? Is there a bit of hype there now for Master League that we finally seem to have a couple of breadcrumbs? Is this the first real tease to Master League? I feel Master League will come with eFootball 2025. I think the signs are kind of there. But in, in saying that, it might also not come. You know, I don't know what way they're going to do it. I feel like that there'll be some sort of online component to Master League, whether it'll be a mixture of a mode between Master League and Master League Online, which we had before with MLO. And that was a super fun mode. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. I'm kind of a little bit torn on this um, as to whether or not these are just included for the in-game event or will it eventually bleed over? And this is the very, 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 very start of what eventually the team is you're going to play with Master League and the defaults that you're going to play with Master League. Of course, in Master League, you would always pick a world-class team, like start with United or start with Liverpool or City or Madrid. But a lot of people did have memories of starting with Castolo and the boys. So let me know what you guys think. I'm interested to know. Um, is, it, is, it, is it something or is it nothing? Let me know the crack and I will talk to you guys in a bit.